Okay guys, so in the last video, we got the uh, fragment running, and we got this result, we've got the list, whoops, that's my screen capture software, we've got the list of all our stuff here coming up. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to make a layout, separate layouts for the phone and for the tablet. So we're going to go to our layout, and we're going to go in here, we're going to create a new folder. In fact, I'll actually show you as a shortcut here. So here it says Nexus 1. If we actually go here, um, Nexus 7, so we'll create a 7 inch tablet layout. And for some reason that's not actually working, it should be a line parent right equal true as well. So that's what it's going to look like in a Nexus 7, so it's going to look pretty stretched. And if we go up to a 10 inch tablet, it's going to look awful. And if we rotate it, oh god, if we're going to have big long stretches all across, you know, the 9 inches of screen, it's 10 inches diagonal. So it's going to look really poor. So what we can do is we're actually going to bring this back down to the Nexus 7, okay? What we're going to do is we're actually going to um, make a new layout. So if we go here and go to Create New. And this will actually set up... I said this will actually set... Okay, so it's not working. We're going to create a new folder here. We'll do it the old, we'll do it the old way. So a new folder. And it's going to be called layout dash. Now what we're going to call is we're going to call this layout land or layout large land finish. So we're going to have one major layout, the default, okay? And then we're going to have some extra layouts for tablets in landscape mode, okay? So the main, the main way we're going to have this here, if we go back to my image, the main thing we're going to have is we're going to have the, uh, this is going to be our default setup, okay? And we're going to put in a special case for tablets. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste our main activity. Okay? Done. Now, when we've got this main activity here, so we're just going to X that out. And we'll open up this. Okay, good. So we've got this here ready to go. And if we actually switch here, to like a Nexus one, it actually brings up a new tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of it. We're going to stretch this out away a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to put it aside, and we're going to change layout. We're going to change the layout here. So if we go to other, no, no, not ID. I don't want to do that. Hey, we want to make it into a, uh, this here into a God damn it. Why won't you work? Okay. Well, actually just I'm going to change this to linear layout. Okay? And we'll set the orientation. Probably going to break everything up, but we may it may be done. I'm going to say Android orientation equals horizontal. I think that's how you spell horizontal. And then these are properties here don't do anything because we're not using relative layouts anymore. Yeah, so we've got a linear layout going across the way, and we've got this here. So we want to make this fill this filled with height. So match parent. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a frame layout on the right hand side, okay? So now we've got a linear layout and a frame layout. Now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute these elements evenly. So what this does is uh, distribute um, the children of the linear layout evenly. What this will actually do is it will um, evenly split the screen or split the screen in a proportion. So what you do is you highlight both of them on the right hand side and you go over to here, look distribute weights evenly. So as you can see they now take up exactly half the screen each. We want this to only take up maybe we'll say a third of the screen, they don't want to take up two thirds. So if we look in here in our XML file we see we've got layout weight of one and our frame layout has layout weight of one as well. If we make this a layout weight of two it will take up twice as much space as this one. So we've got our list and then we've got our fragment on the right. So as you can see, we have our list, 
our list fragment is going to be here and then we've got a frame layout here we're going to actually edit this sign ID and we're just going to call this um, fragment or info frame okay so that's the frame layout for containing the info fragment we're not going to put any fragment in there at the start we're going to do all that in code so now we've created that for our uh, 7 inch tablets we want one for 10 inch as well because let's let's face it you need a no 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 go to 10 inch tablet rotate ah great it's bugging out on me but the, the layout activity will be the same for x large so if we go layout if we go to new folder here and we go layout uh, x large land in portrait mode it'll still look like crap but it'll work and then we're just going to copy and paste our layout from one to the other so we've got our oh god it needs to be zoomed out a little bit so as you can see we've got our two layouts ready to go so everything's ready to go now on this we've got our main activity layout created so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our second activity which is going to be called the elements detail activity and our elements details fragment okay so we're going to create a new class we're going to subclass the fragment activity and we're going to create elements details fra uh, activity okay uh, finish so we've got our fragment activity now we don't have a layout for this do we well we're going to need to create a new layout for this activity now this activity will only be shown so if we look at here this activity is this one here the activity B this is only going to be shown on handsets and things like that so we don't need to create alternate versions of it so if we go into our layout file and go element or not elements um, yeah elements details activity okay and what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, get rid of this linear layout and make it a frame layout so we're going to the code here frame layout copy pasting get rid of this orientation value it's not needed anymore so we just made it into a frame layout because we don't need anything like that which is nice so now we've got our elements detail activity created um, so that's ready to go we've got our uh, elements detail activity so we're just going to very quickly get the onCreate view for this and then we're going to stop this video so we're going to run down to source override implement methods on create boom and we're going to say on a, what's the callback for that again set content view wow i am bad sometimes <laughs> and we're going to say or dot um what's it called elements details activity layout okay so that's that ready to go so now we've got our second activity set up we're going to actually in the next video we're going to create the extra fragment and then we have to work out a method of communicating from fragment to fragment because if you think about what's going to happen is when we click our list time here if we when we go to click one of these okay we have to have some sort of method in code of how does that click respond or how do we respond to that click so it's obviously going to be some sort of branching system where you know, when we click that it we need to know if it can we need to the activity needs to know when that's clicked do i load it into a new frame is that frame there is it available for loading we need to test for that and then we need to go okay the, the frame is ready we can load the fragment we load it in it goes okay we have a problem this this frame is not working okay this fragment frame is not there we'll start a new activity i'll start a new activity and it can deal with the click itself that's what we're essentially going to implement in our next video and we'll run the tests on that then and then we'll get to making the second fragment okay so that's that video guys remember to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video